Hi and welcome to the third boss guide in this installment. This time we'll focus on High Astromancer Solarian, uh, who is the last gatekeeper before we can face uh, Kaelphus, who is the last boss in this raid. Solarian is a two-phase fight and he's one of the only um, bosses to date who was never killed until he was nerfed. Uh, simply a tuning issue though, uh, and it should be very doable to kill him today. Now, there are multiple ways of dealing with High uh, Astromancer Solarian, but we'll go through just one way of doing it, and this would be like the central way of doing it. Um, it might change later on, or we might switch up the tactic a little bit, but yeah. So, like I said, this is a two-phase fight. For the first phase, he will be in caster form. Um, during this, he will cast uh, Mark of uh, Solarian. This decreases uh, Arcane Resistance by 15, and it stacks, um, and it will be cast on a random raid member. Now, this is why you actually want uh, some tanks stacking Arcane Resistance uh, to tank another mechanic called Wrath of the Astromancer. So, Wrath of the Astromancer is a debuff placed on a random player and once it runs out after six seconds it will deal um, arcane damage increase arcane damage taken but it will also jump to the nearest ally now this will happen regardless of how far away the person is so say you're stood over here it will still jump to the nearest ally so the way we'll deal with this mechanic is that we'll have two off tanks stood over here by the purple marker in full arcane resistance gear so say i get the debuff i'll run over here just to here so i'm making sure that both the tanks are the nearest member drop the debuff run back into my group and then just dps the boss the other thing about solarian during this phase is that um she can't actually be tanked so she will cast arcane missiles much like uh, aram in karazhan on a random raid member dealing high arcane damage. That is the last mechanic of this phase, minus Solarium portals. So every 50 seconds, Solarium will disappear and spawn some non-elite mobs that we need to AoE and kill. These are very easy to kill, takes no time or effort whatsoever. Warlocks, Boomkins, you should be able to wreck those together with mages. Then after 20 seconds, of this portal starting, um, Solarian will reappear and also spawn two Solarian priests. For this, we'll have Mini set up a uh, interrupt rotation as they have a heal. You kill the priests, then you focus back on Solarian. The central thing of this fight is that it is one big gear DPS check, and once your DPS is high, this becomes incredibly easy. Um, but that's the last bit. Like, this is the whole fight of it, so the tank tanking Solarian just has to focus on all of his uh, buffs, keeping the buff up timer, keeping the debuff timer, if it's like Sunder Armor, etc, etc. Um, and everyone else just nukes. No need to use, like, big cooldowns or whatever, because once Solarian hits 20%, he will transform into a giant Void Walker. And now that will be like the actual burn execute phase. This is when we'll pop heroism, but this is also when threat will activate. During this phase, he'll cast Arcane Bolt, which is just a large amount of arcane damage targeted on the tank. Uh, and he will also use Psychic Scream, similar to the Priest mechanic, where he'll fear the person. So Shamans, put down Tremor Totems, a Priest, Fear Ward on the main tank. The Arcane Tanks, will you can join in still do a bit of damage uh, but it's best if you just stay seeing as the debuff from wrath of solarin will probably still bounce around however shouldn't be a problem so yeah a big tank and spank fight with 80 percent of the fight being without a tank needed um, the tank will pick up the solarian priest as best as he can once they uh, spawn there's no need to focus on the uh, non-elite adds as they will die incredibly quickly Everyone will be stood here on this triangle. Solarian will be tanked here at the skull. Melee, he will obviously be at the skull as well. Arcane tanks will be stood over here on the side. And then we just engage the encounter. Just the arcane missiles. See how many of these mechanics I can get to show you. 
um, before we start burning Solarian down a little bit. Just waiting out the 50 seconds for the Solarian portal. Here we go. This is Wrath of the Astromancer. And this will actually jump to the nearest ally. On retail, this is not an actual mechanic in TBC. Um, it throws you up in the air if no allies are close. But like I said, this is not an actual mechanic in TBC Classics. So you don't have to worry about this now. Again, I'm playing Demon Hunter to avoid this mechanic and just like keep everything in place. So, here we go. These are the Solarian portals. Non-elites will spawn from these. You can easily be burned down. Then we wait 20 seconds. And then Solarian will spawn again, together with the two Solarian priests. For this, we'll make sure that these two are interrupted. Mostly their heal. We don't matter. It doesn't matter too much about... Uh, their smite, um, but you obviously don't want them healing Solarian uh, as it prolongs the DPS race of this fight. So, once you do this, you just DPS Solarian down. And once he goes below the 20% marker, turns into a Void Walker. And then this you can actually tank. Again, we'll try and keep him steady. Cast Void Bolt. This is uninterruptible. So you just have to take it. And yeah, kill boss, get Luke. 